At the beginning of the last century, Albert Einstein was the first to hypothesize that empty space in the universe was not really empty. A hundred years later, the nature of that empty space is still unknown. But thanks to the results of the Planck Space Observatory mission, scientists have concurred on the existence of a dark matter. They calculate that ordinary visible matter accounts for about 5% of our universe. The rest is dark matter and a repulsive force called dark energy, which is accelerating the universe's expansion. Although we don't know much about both dark matter and dark energy, this could change quite soon. ESA is now building a new space telescope called Euclid, which will further look at the hidden side of the universe. I'm working on, uh, on Euclid. That is a mission to, uh, to map the, the universe. And for that, we built a, a, a highly precise telescope in which we can map dark matter structures as well as derive the properties of the uh, dark energy. Euclid will use a 1.2 meter diameter telescope to track the evolution of the universe's structure over three quarters of its history. It will do so by taking hundreds of thousands of sharp images. When we look at the sky and take a picture, we stop everything. We stop the reaction wheels and the only way to uh, correct for possible drifts of the, uh, of the satellite is doing it with cold gas, because cold gas gives no disturbances to the uh, image, the sharp image we want to achieve. While Euclid will look at the vastness of the universe, what will revolutionize our understanding is to couple Euclid's results with the study of the minuscule world deep within atoms. In Geneva, the CERN is about to restart the world's foremost particle accelerator, the LHC, the Large Hadron Collider. Three years ago, it spotted the Higgs boson. We hope that uh, as soon as the machine switch on, we might have discovery even in the first days, if not in the first weeks. The LHC has been upgraded, is more powerful, and is going to work at full power for the first time. It's hoped that it will open the door for the identification of dark matter. We have many questions to answer, and we are pretty sure that the LHC can answer some of them. We hope that it could answer all of them. It is not clear. Euclid and LHC's new missions are optimized to understand why the universe is expanding at an accelerating rate rather than slowing down due to the gravitational attraction of all the matter in it. The interesting thing is uh, we get more and more dark energy. Why? Because our universe is expanding. And with our expanding universe, we get more dark energy in our universe. Now the ordinary matter, so dark matter and normal matter, is not expanding, it's diluting. So the fraction of dark energy compared to normal matter, is increasing in time. When the universe expands more and more, we get more volume of our universe, we get more space, and we get more dark energy. Scientists in space or on the ground are ready to step into the unknown, an unknown that is crucial to understanding the future of the universe.